We're Nikki and Carlo and we live in Positano, Italy. Except we also just bought a house in Tuscany, which we're currently renovating, so we live there too. Join us as we turn this house and olive grove into a dream home and get to grips with living in two different parts of Italy. Carlo is still back in Positano. His dad is recovering well and hopefully will be allowed out of hospital in a few days. While Carlo has been away, Sky and I have been taking some time to relax, discover new walks around the countryside and also take some time off from filming and just enjoying exploring. We've taken this time to actually live in the house, to use it as a home rather than treating it as a renovation project. I'm not saying that we downed all tools while the boss is away. In fact, we've accomplished quite a bit and made a few changes that will surprise him when he returns. The day before my birthday, which was also the day that Carla had to leave us and drive back down to Positano, we had an appointment to meet up with a very special friend that a lot of you might already know. We started driving and it was extremely foggy. It was really thick fog, misty, you couldn't see a thing. And then suddenly after about half an hour, we came out of the fog and it was like this wall of fog. We came out of it into bright sunlight and blue skies. So the beginning of this bit of video looks like it was filmed before the rest of the video, but I promised you it was all on the same day. Good morning, we are on our way to Forte di Marmi. We're meeting up with a very special friend, somebody who we haven't seen since, well, we haven't seen in real life since January last year, where we took a very, very cold dip in her pool. Yeah, yes, oops. I remember. We're meeting up with Julie, Matt, Julie Montagu from Mapperton, also Julie in Tuscany, and we're going to go shopping. So as you know, we're having our kitchen made by a carpenter and we are going to need to pick out some backsplash tiles so we're going to go with Julie who is an expert on where to go she's taking us to Ricoperando which is a big salvage yard that has all sorts of antique tiles and things for the garden as well we haven't been before it's in Forte di Marmi so we're just driving over there now and I'm very excited to see what we can find And here we are. We've arrived about 15 minutes before Julie, so we're just having a wander around to have a look. And already I'm so excited. There's so many things to see in here. Look at all these stone sinks. It's wonderful and these baths and the statues and everything and I can see where the tiles are up there but look at this I found a marble bath. Wouldn't it be just great to have one of these in the garden and then when you're hot you just fill it up it stays cool probably. It's molto grande. <laughs> Wow. Oh, no. oh my God. Lovely to see you again. We're, and we're neighbors now, aren't we? We are. We we're are. neighbors. Yeah. We're neighbors. Um, Julia and Nikki in Tuscany. It's so exciting. <laughs> so I, well, I'm so happy that we're meeting here because this is like my favorite place, everybody. And um, I wanted to bring you here and to meet you here because you're looking for tiles. Yes. I have found some tiles. Okay. But I think they've lost my tiles. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go find your tiles and yep. then we'll look for some for me. Okay, 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 okay. That sounds like right. a plan. Yeah. 
because it was such a, was it fun to film with them? Yes, it was very, yeah, very fun. fun. Yeah, a yeah. lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And her, her outfits are amazing. Yeah, yeah so yeah, they yeah. are very, um, very nice people. And yeah. it was a great experience to work with BBC. Yeah. Have you absolutely. watched all the show? Yes, yeah, all, good, uh, all the episodes, <laughs> nice and yeah. nice result. Uh, yeah, yeah it was very, know. very fun to, to watch. Yeah, I know they're good together. I, yeah. I, I suspect they're just going to keep going and going because it's so Probably. popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. We're next. <laughs> um, great. All right, we'll have a look around. Yeah, no problem. If you need me, I'm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Alvina. So this is where I find my tiles, everybody, and you're looking for tiles. Is I that am. right? Yes. I have no idea what I want, but I'm gonna have a good look. <laughs> but do you want? Do you want like a, a backsplash? So yes, I need a black back. Ba I can never say it. Me neither. Backsplash for the kitchen. Sometimes I say splash back. As I well. say black splash. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. So you need a backsplash. Yes. Okay. So what I did with mine is I did sort of I did two tiles so i did sort of a, a single color yeah and then i did a border across okay but okay. that's what i did but they, look at around i mean it's yeah. just it's pretty incredible it here. is there's so many to don't, choose from don't you just want to take everything home i do especially the, the, the weird statues and the big stone sinks and the, and the marble baths and I know the marble yeah. baths are incredible. Yeah, there's I'm, a big I'm, pink one over there that I, I'm quite partial to. <laughs> I don't know how much they cost. But. I love it. Okay, but what about colors? What colors are you looking for um, in your kitchen? I think something like so. Basically, my whole kitchen is based on the secondhand curtains that I found okay. in England, right? Which are cream with a sage green and and like pinky red. So it's hydrangeas on them. <gasps> Lovely. So everything is being based on that color scheme. So sage green, sage sort of green, a bit of maybe a bit of pink, lilac, cream. maybe lilac. Or, no, no, but no. pinky or 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 sort of burnt red color. Okay. Okay. So, Pink. Okay, so that's not much to ask, is it? <laughs> would you bring in any blue or no for the I tiles? I don't no. think, think it so. would work. Okay, no, no, no. That's right. Okay, so let's. And how big do you think you want? These are all over here, ten by ten, so okay. ten centimeters by ten yeah. centimeters. Or do you want to go big? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I just love this. Let's start looking. On, even though we're going to have to wind our way through yeah. here, let's start looking. We'll look for the colors. I think. So if the kitchen is going to be wood, yeah. and I've got terracotta floors and brown, um, the wooden, the wooden and tiled ceilings. Okay, so the classic Tuscan yeah, ceilings. Yeah. I've got a lot of browns Brown. already. Yeah. So I think I need to balance that out. So do you want to go then? Do you want to go like a light color? I think. Probably, okay. Yes, I think okay. that would be best. Okay. But that it has a bit too tinsy. These of the are the ones blue. that you've got. Are they similar? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think these are what I have. Yeah, they're slightly each one's it's slightly different, isn't each it? Each one's slightly different, yeah. I mean this is look at that. Look at everything. Here. <laughs> so we keep getting distracted by bathtubs. <laughs> what about like oh. <gasps> oh yes. I sort of need to see what pattern they make when they're all together. That we might not have many as well, should we go to the other side? What about doing in front of your stove oven, cuchime? You could do just that bit and then and, have, and then white around and it. And then white yeah. around it or something. That's a good idea. Carla's just pointed out that these are cement tiles and they're not varnished, so they would probably get stained. Yeah. But could we varnish them? So mettevamo il vernice sopra? Sì, puoi mettere la vernice, puoi mettere la cera. But you think they're floor tiles? Yeah, I mean I think they might be floor tiles. I ask more information for uh, these tiles. Cement tiles is uh, uh, ordinable. Ordinable. Okay. Ordinable. Is that, is that a word? Uh, ordinable. It's not a word, is it? <laughs> ordinable. Yeah. You can order them. Fuck off, Nick. Okay. Say that. Okay, okay, no, no, say it in English. Yeah. Uh, if you want, it, it is a, a lot of tiles different. It's more the 100. Oh, okay. 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 Different types. Okay. If you want, you, you can have a uh, kilometer square okay. or more. Okay. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The price is from uh, 140. 140? To, to 200. To uh, 200. Yeah. For what? Yeah, what? 
Bruno. No, no, meter square. Oh, for a meter square? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> These are some expensive tiles. You certainly don't want to spill ketchup yeah. on that. <laughs> We're just going to load the tiles that Julie has bought into her car and then we, we're going off to this other place where she bought her sink. I saw her buy her sink there and it's about half an hour from here so we're going to go and take a look there as well. That's it. Yeah, it. Ciao. 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 So we didn't buy anything. We had a good look around. I've got some great ideas for tiles. I still don't really know what I want. I might have to wait a while longer and I might actually wait so that I can go back. When we go back to Positano at the end of March or beginning of April, I might go back down to Vieta again to the ceramic tile factory where I bought my kitchen tiles for our house in Positano um, and see what he's got there because he's just got such a huge selection Collection, I might find something a bit more specific to what I think I want. So it was great to have a look around here and we're now going to go and visit this other place as well. So we're just walking into this uh, Piccolo Scrigno where Julie bought all of her furniture and I've already seen this shelving unit which I like. I'm not sure about the red but I love the style of it and I can see just from looking in that this is going to be really good fun. We've left the dogs in the car because there's another dog here, you never quite know how they're going to be. Um, but we've left the windows open so they should be fine. Let's go have a look around. Ooh, very exciting. Julie has already found something that she loves for her kitchen. If you want to see what it is, go and follow her on American by Countess where she puts up her little house in Tuscany videos. And then you can see what she's found for her kitchen, which is really lovely actually. And I need to still have a good look around. I've just found the outside area. Now it's very higgledy piggledy out here. Let's have a scout around. I remember fi Julie finding her sink, and I think it was somewhere down there. Look at that gravestones. I thought it had finished, and I've just walked around a corner, and it goes on and on. It's massive. We're heading down here. <gasps> okay, this is like There's the. So much more stuff in here. It's like a labyrinth. <laughs> Isn't it just brilliant? Yeah. I, I mean, don't know where to start looking, really. <gasps> See, yeah. that is lovely. We do need garden chairs. That's one thing I'm missing. I'm going to sit outside at the moment. Those are lovely. They are. Trouble is, in my house upstairs, all the ceilings are very sloped and they come down to one metre. So anything like this, right. I can't even consider because there's nowhere to put it because the ceilings aren't high enough. Because the ceiling, right. There's lots of windmills everywhere. What? There's these funny windmill things. Oh my gosh, I don't even think I've been here. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is brilliant. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. It's just a random grapefruit sized lemon on a lemon tree. Julie, for See. the lunch, it's okay. Okay. Grazie. Allez. Okay, no Le, il nome è possibile uh, uh, dire uh, Carlos perché la baracca della viatura. Oh. Have you been around here before? Yeah, I've been around here. I haven't been back here by this lemon tree though. Yeah, it's a beautiful tree. It's incredible. I know, just. I might take a couple. I'm sure that they'll be. I actually might take one. Yeah, that's Let's do, here. Okay. I do kind of need one for my salad dressing tonight. Yeah, look, there's some on the floor, there's some windfalls. Oh, yeah. Here's the windfall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, this is my, my, this is the place where I have just been lucky. Do you know what the thing is with places that you need to come here and you, you need to have like three hours yeah. because otherwise you don't know where to even look. I know. There's so much to see. Yep, you do. And you need time to just sort of like browse and look around and, and also things are hard to see. It's, everything's covered in other stuff. So. Yep, mm -hmm. it's been stacked up for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> but,
We're on our way back and I just wanted to show you this mimosa tree which we passed on the way here. It's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at it. That is beautiful. Imagine having that in your garden. Eh, quello è bellissimo proprio. Lo vogliamo nel nostro giardino. While Carla was away, we decided to take over the renovations and not tell him anything. This is what happened. Yes. So Carlos currently still not here and I've replaced him with, <laughs> with Celine, who's <laughs> staying for a while. Yeah, and have we have decided have we're going to do something very controversial. So everybody, we've, it's like 50-50. Some people love this banister and other people hate it. It's a little bit too elaborate and flowery for me and I'm not sure about the colour either. If I could paint it sort of a metal colour like grey or something, it would probably be much nicer. But I'm not too keen on the colour of it, so we've decided, while Carlo's not here, we're going to try and take it off and see what it looks like without it. Because Carlo loves it and he wants to keep it, so we won't have any part of us getting rid of it. So we've got the Allen keys out and we're going to try and unbolt it and take it off and see what it looks like without it. I need the spanner thing, you know, the one that's shaped like that with a U and like little lines around it. You use it to open glass <laughs> bottles as well. Let's go see if we can find one. So this is the tool shed. And we have to just really see what we can find. You can put Carlo's tool belt on if you want. We won't tell him. Yeah, so we need one that's in the middle of those two. What about that? It's adjustable. coming out of the wall are holding these two. The bottom here is attached, everything else is off. Let's do it together, stay like that. <laughs> I don't know if it's fully... It's still attached by something. No, they're not, but the screws are there, yeah. Ready? Let's try. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Move it out of the way so we can do it. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh it's blue. Oh, I like that. It looks naked. Yeah, it looks quite empty, doesn't it? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's. Oh, quite yeah, I like that. <laughs> I left you last night saying that you were going to change the furniture around. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't we... Have a Kit Kat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we need to push the sofa up, cut this end, because when the sofa arrives on Tuesday, it's going to be... And it's going to be like from here to there. It's a three-seater, so... You're going, to see, if, you're going to have a sofa in front of a heater. Yeah. It could be here, but then it's going to come... We don't know. It actually might work like that. You know, it's like kind of like a banister to the stairs. If you put the sofa, you put the sofa there, 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 I think... If you fall off the stairs, it is your fall off the stairs. We need to measure whether the sofa fits between this because we've got this pillar that we can't move. So if the sofa doesn't fit in here, we can't have it here. You've got a tape measure. Yes. All right, so get the tape measure. You know the dimensions of the length of the sofa. Get that. It's on your WhatsApp because I sent it to you. So if we're going to put the sofa here... This is 2.55. And the measurements that you sent me... The sofa is... <laughs> <laughs> Not going to take a video of you doing that. Blind as a bat, as per usual. Length, 2.45. 2.45. So the sofa will fit and perfectly here. Yeah. With a little gap. Actually, exactly, you can have it up against the wall. There's a gap between the radiator. So, so at least you get air out. Okay, but then what we're going to do with this big space here? Even get yourself, even you get yourself a, like, a, like a, a really nice armchair. I know you don't want to go to Ikea, but they actually have some really nice like armchair armchairs there at the moment. 
I think the sofa would look, it's a green sofa. I think it would look great there. Yeah, I think And there look. you can put some armchair or even one of these two sofas would fit, I think. Well, one of these two, you're going to have to go upstairs to the room. I think it looks much better. Yeah, it does. I think it looks better as well. I love it. Mainly because the banister was yellow and you can't yeah. you can't paint over it. It's just such a bad colour, yellow like this. I mean that okay, you'll have to I mean yeah, you're gonna have to leave that one unless you get that one's fine. That one's fine up there. You can yeah. Hide, hide the evidence. Right. <laughs> we're, we're hiding the banister, maybe Carla won't notice. <laughs> Buried in the garden. How much you wanna bet the first thing he's gonna see when he walks in through the door is the banister. We'll notice it on the video and we'll forget that we're change direction! Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> The extension that is around the side of the house is painted white, which sort of annoys me because I wanted to blend in with the house. So I've tried to match the actual color of the walls, which was not easy. I had to take a little piece of crumbling wall with me to the paint shop and match the color. It came out quite a bit pinker. So I've now added some white and a bit of black paint dye to it. And I think I've more or less got it right. So I'm gonna paint this bit here and see how it looks. Well, it looked pretty good up close, but the further away, I, the further away I go, the darker it looks compared to the wall that it's supposed to be the same colour as. Maybe it will lighten up as it dries. Or my other option is I'm going to have to repaint the whole house. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Join us next week as we move everything to surprise Carlo when he returns from Positano. He brings friends with him and he wow. promptly gets stuck in the mud twice in one day. Prove rovinato. <laughs>